Hello everyone, my name is Omar Mendez and today we'll be taking a look at some of the Raiders unrestricted free agent players heading into the 2017 season. Now, uh, the Raiders have 18 unrestricted free agent players. Of course, a couple of them are, uh, you know, career backup players that just never got a chance to play or never got a chance to prove themselves, I should say. Uh, but a lot of them are some pretty, uh, pretty important players in the Raiders roster. Some of them are starters. And uh, I'm going to uh, take a look at them, see uh, whether I think we should keep them or let them walk away. That's why I'm designating, I'm designating each single player with either a keep or a walk designation. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, one of the, I'm going to start off with some of the players that, like I said, are career backups, just never got a shot. Um, and I'm going to just roll them off. Won't, won't take too much time on those. Uh, players like uh, Saquon Edwards, safety. Um can't even remember him playing um may, uh, maybe they keep him as a on the practice squad I, i'm not too sure uh I, i'm gonna say walk um we have guys like uh darren bates played a lot in special teams uh special team players aren't, aren't usually uh, a priority when it comes to uh free agents um we brought him in this year took him in from uh st louis or la i should say and uh I don't know. I'm going to say walk. I, I don't see a reason to keep him. Um, then we have players like uh, Stacy McGee, who has got a lot of playing time with the Raiders. I can't remember whether or not he was an a, 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 a impact player. Maybe he was just a, a role filler. Um, I'm going to say walk with him, uh, considering we have uh, Jihad Ward, uh, 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 Justin Ellis, Dan Williams, all those guys in the middle. I'm going to say walk. And then we have Denver Kirkland, who stepped up pretty, pretty admirably when it came time of uh, Lee Smith going down early in the season. Uh, they needed a guy to come in and, and take that blocking tight end role. However, with the guys like Clive Wofford and guys like Michael Rivera, uh, they really didn't have someone to come in and take that blocking tight end role. So they so uh, Musgrave, who we let go unexplicably, but who we let walk, um, said you know what let's put in Denver Kirkland in there maybe he'll come in and fill that uh blocking tight end role filled in great six lineman technique filled worked amazing for the Raiders so um maybe uh, off of those uh games afterwards they saw enough of them to keep him along for one more year for now I'm gonna say walk because it was it was his first year so um I'm gonna say walk for now but that can easily change to change into a keep um we have a uh, Brian Brendan Trawick. This guy came in last two, two, three games for the Raiders. I'm gonna say two because I, I remember him from the Denver game and I remember him from the Texans game. This guy played lights out. This guy played starting quality safety when it came time, uh, time for the Raiders uh, when the Raiders really needed him. So uh, who knows? Maybe they decide to bring him along another year, give him a two-year contract with a one-year guarantee. Um, based off of those two games and the promise that he said, I think he earned himself a one-year deal. One-year deal. Uh, shout out uh, Darren McFadden. And we're gonna, I'm gonna say keep keep Brandon Trowick. We gotta keep some of these guys. We're not gonna let all of them go. Um, all right, and I think that's about it for the backups let's get into some of the starters um uh first name i'm gonna bring up uh oh no wait sorry gabe holmes as well tight end backup i i think the tight end depth is is, is okay for now but i can see them keeping them one more year in the practice squad kind of stashing them so i'm gonna say keep practice squad Alrighty, let's get into uh, some of the more uh, more heard of players that are uh, becoming uh, unrestricted free agents this offseason. Uh, we have Seth Roberts, who has uh, been a red zone threat for the past year for the Raiders. I mean, for the past two years, I should say. And uh, interesting stats, the Raiders are undefeated when Seth Roberts catches a TD pass which is unheard of. That's pretty amazing. A pretty amazing stat to have on your record. Um, I Yeah, this guy's a, a slot receiver. He uh, comes in, gets the job done. Uh, I don't see why they wouldn't bring him along for another year, maybe a two-year deal. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say keep on Seth Roberts. Um, we have then 
Michael Rivera, and this is a heartbreaker because I really wanted Michael Rivera to step in and become, you know, our, our starting tight end, maybe maybe a backup tight end that gets a lot of work in. Uh, but then we drafted Clive Walford, of course. Um, so I'm going to say walk on this one, but it's only because we already have Lee Smith, who's coming back, and he's almost a guaranteed starter as a blocking tight end. We have Clive Walford who has become the uh, receiving uh, tight end and seeing I don't I don't see how you pay a guy who's on, who who's an unrestricted free agent knowing you have other two tight ends that are that are pretty solid tight ends uh, just to become your third your third option I don't see that happening I I think he's going to garner a lot of attention in free agency so I say he's going to walk he's going to walk so then we got uh, Latavius Murray. Latavius Murray. I don't. I okay. I understand that some Raider Nation loves the Tay Train. I, I understand some Raider Nation loves this. However, I can't see them bringing him back when his production dropped last year on a contract year, or this past year it dropped on a contract year. When you got two guys that came in and performed lights out and the running back draft is so deep this year. We're talking Christian McCaffrey. We're talking uh, Dalvin Cook. We're talking Leonard Fournette. I think the Raiders would be better off getting one of those running backs instead of re-signing Latavius Murray on this one. All right. Uh, moving along, we got Danico Autry. Danico Autry is personally one of my favorites. Uh, I, I love Danico's play. He gets in... Uh, he gets pressure from that, uh, from that, from the three lineman set, and um, you know he's he's one of the standouts. I would, I would, I would prefer keeping him over uh, guys like Dan Williams, who who had a drop off year last year. Uh, guys like Justin Ellis, who also had a drop off year this past year. Yeah, I, I don't see why you don't keep him. Keep him, give him a give him a three year deal. Come on, ex, ex, give him show confidence in the guy. I think he should be a starter, uh, personally. Um, then we have long sniper John Kondo. John Kondo's not going anywhere. When you have a, a, a special team need that only one person can do, he's he's a tight end, but he's listed as a long snapper, long snapper, and that's because he is the Raiders' long snapper. He's not going anywhere uh, unless he breaks an arm or something. I don't see that happening. So I think the Raiders keep him on a on a one year, two year deal. I, I'm not too sure. I don't know how you go about the long snapper position. Uh, up next, we have Perry Riley, who we got in the middle of the season, first game in against the Chargers, gets a forced fumble. I don't know how much, uh, how, how this guy was uh, uh, free on the market. This guy played pretty admirably in the chances that he got as an inside, and especially since the Raiders need help at inside linebacker, I don't see how this guy doesn't get brought back. So I'm going to say keep on this. He played admirably. He was a starter for the Raiders all the way toward the end of the year. Starter. Uh, so keep. Menelik Watson, right tackle. I feel for the guy because he's been injured most of his career. He barely got a chance to prove himself this last season. And just played okay. I would say okay to below average. And uh, I, considering I believe the Raiders will, will address the tackle position in this upcoming draft, and considering the fact that uh, Austin Howard is still under contract, I'm going to say walk and uh, better luck elsewhere because it didn't work out for the Raiders this this, this season. I'm sorry. So uh, goodbye, Manelik Watson. I, I, I'm also sorry you're a Manchester City fan. Um, we can't all be born lucky, I guess. Uh, then we have Andre Holmes, wide receiver. I'm going to say walk on this, but it's not because I think the Raiders want him to walk. It's going to be a Rod Streeter situation. He doesn't get the chance to come in because we have uh, Michael Crabtree. We have Seth Roberts. We have Amari Cooper. And he's just that fourth option. And he really only gets to play when, when one, of the, one of the starting receivers goes down with injury so it's gonna be a walk but it's not because I want to see him walk it's because I just don't see where he fits he, he's he's an odd man out is basically what I'm trying to say backup quarterback Matt McGloin oh man this is gonna be tough Matt McGloin is gonna walk and 
The reason I say walk is because we drafted Connor Cook. Connor Cook is under contract for another three years. He showed some promises, promise in the last two games. And uh, Matt McGloin is just, he's a career backup. I don't see how you extend a career backup who's had 11 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, very meh, uh, can't make all the throws. Has uh, it, I mean, he is a gunslinger. I, I, I mean, if there's any guy you can give the gunslinger uh, uh, label to, it's it's Matt McGloin. Um, however, like I said, we drafted Connor Cook, and I mean, Reggie trusts the guys that that he drafts. I mean, we saw at the first his first draft, he kept all his players that he drafted. Um, so I think he's the odd man out. Better luck uh, somewhere. Maybe you'll catch on with uh, Cleveland. I, I don't see him coming back. I'm sorry. I'm going to say walk on Matt McGloin. DJ Hayden. He's a cornerback. And the cornerback position is a position of need even after uh, signing Sean Smith last uh, last offseason and extending um, Lift my mind. Uh, uh, David Emerson. I'm sorry. Uh, even after extending David Emerson and Sean Smith, he's a he's in a position of need. And even though, even with all that, I still think he's gonna walk. Um, I mean, you expect more out of a first round draft pick. You don't just draft the first round dra draft pick thinking he's gonna be okay or he's gonna be, uh, you know, a, a a filler guy. You expect him to be a star. You expect him to be. The next uh, Darrell Revis. You expect him to be the next, uh, you know, Aqib Talib. Fuck you, Aqib Talib. Aqib Talib. Um, but he just wasn't. He wasn't that type of guy. So um, I'm going to say walk on this. And I'm sorry, man. Walk. Nate Allen. Safety. I'm going to say they keep him. Only because the other option is Nelson. And I don't think I can trust Nelson for a full season next year. He's he's already older. He's he's heading. Uh, I think he's 33 already, and uh, he played pretty good while while uh, while uh, Carl uh, Joseph was down. He played pretty well. He came in and he and he did his job. Uh, he he did what he was supposed to. So I don't see how they don't bring him back. So I'm gonna say keep on Nate Allen. Malcolm Smith, this is a guy which is very divided amongst uh, Raider fans. Some people love him. Some people hate him. Some people just, it, it, it really, either of two, either you love him or you hate him. I'm, pers I'm personally meh on him because I look at him and I, and I look at the other linebackers and he's basically the best cover linebacker we have. And that's saying a lot, a lot about how bad our linebacking core is. So I see they bring him along for another two-year deal. I know he was on a two-year deal this past uh, season. Yeah, I, I don't see how any other team would want to uh, pay him big money. Uh, so, especially in a position like a linebacker where there's a million linebackers in the league. So I see they extend him on a two-year deal maybe. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think they keep him. Uh, so, yeah. Those are the guys who I think the Raiders will keep and let walk. Uh, let me know what you think in the, in the comment section. Uh, remember to subscribe. If you want to follow up with me, my uh, Twitter is at OmarMendez94. Let me know how much you hated uh, my video. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time.